I want to show you how to code a super simple mean reversion strategy in real test. Hmm? Mean reversion might sound complex, but it's simpler than you think. And, um, you'll be surprised how powerful even a basic strategy can be when you apply it correctly. So, usually I like to stick with just three main parameters. Why three? Because keeping it simple often works best, especially when you're testing ideas. First is the 200-day moving average. This is our trend filter. It ensures we're only trading stocks that meet a specific trend condition. Second is the mean reversion filter. This tells us the stock has fallen below its mean, or average, and could bounce back. For this example, we'll use a classic RSI2 below 20 and the third. Let's make this even more refined. We'll only buy when S&P 500 rate of change, length 2, is below zero. Why? Hmm, because if the market is already overbought, it's less likely to keep reverting up. Makes sense, right? We'll include all of S&P 500 current and past symbols, so we're working with as complete a data set as possible. Of course, you can add more filters, volatility, liquidity, and so on. But um, for now, we're keeping it clean and simple. First, we'll set some parameters and stick with 10 positions for this strategy. That's manageable, right? The entry setup will be our buy rule. Side long. Quantity 100 divided by the number of positions. Quantity type percent. Max setups. This is the total number of positions minus S positions. Oh, and if you're wondering, S positions tracks how many positions are already open in the current strategy. For the setup score, I'm going to use rate of change, 200. Why? Because it tends to favor stocks with strong long-term momentum. Hmm, but here's a tip. If you're working with mean reversion strategies, you can also test a volatility filter here to shake things up. Now, the exit rule? Super simple. Sell if RSI2 closes above 70. The red line is S&P 500 buy and hold performance. The green line is our strategy, and um, the results, they look really nice. But before you get too excited, let me be clear. I'm sharing this strategy for free because, honestly, I've got much better ones that I trade myself. It's decent, but hmm, not exactly the most robust. You can take a look the strategies that I trade. Links in the description. Oh, and don't take back tests from 1993 to 2010 too seriously. Markets were different back then. Liquidity, broker commissions, everything was, hmm, kind of off compared to today. That's why I always add commissions and slippage to my back tests. These are, um, critical factors. Without them, even the best looking back test can fall apart in real trading. Think about it. If your strategy has high trading frequency, the costs from commissions and slippage can, hmm, eat up all your profits. For this example, we'll use Interactive Brokers default commission rates and realistic slippage for S&P 500 stocks. This setup should work well for most of you. Finally, you can download this real test code for free. The link's in the description. Oh, and um, if you're curious about my better strategies, those are available too. You can grab the rules and real test code, also linked below. But don't wait too long. Edges like these don't last forever.